Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything is going to be okay. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. This is my first attempt at making a uh, PC gaming video. I'm playing a game called Fear and Hunger. It's basically a, a survival horror RPG mix. Um, and these are the main characters. Kahara is the mercenary. He's actually, you know, a thief, rogue type character. Ragenvalder is the tough, um, you know, northern barbarian guy. Enki is the dark priest, mage person. Dars is the armored knight person. All right, so we are going to be doing. Uh oh. Okay, we're going to be doing one of the final battles of this game. Um, basically, right now, we are in the Void, which is um, the realm of... Ah, these things. This is the realm of the old gods, but it's also a place where humans go to become new gods. New gods are humans that have attained some of the powers of old gods, but they're basically just um, puppets being controlled by the old gods. And then there's also ascended gods, which are people that have basically become a reborn version of an old god with all of their powers. But we're not, we won't get into that. We're going to be fighting a new god who we helped. He was one of our former party members, Lagard. I believe he's just up here. Oh, no, I don't think this is the right way. Um, we helped him get here and he kind of betrayed us and left and became a new god. So now we all came here to stop him. <laughs> uh, oh, darn. I gotta hurry and find him before. I'm pretty sure this is the way. There he is. Okay. Dars. Um, Dars, the female knight, is in love with Lagarde. So she says, Lagarde. How long has it been? 100 years or so? Um, you abandoned us. Oh, yes, I remember that. It was not my intention to insult you in any way, but your part in the greater scheme of things was over. I had a goal that ex exceeded our puny meddlings in the past world. I don't know if you can ever understand my motivations truly, but this is something only I can go through with. I was always meant to go through this. I did try to live my life otherwise, but it was all with no avail. Dars, you know this. We tried to make change for the longest time. Basically, all of our characters have beef with this guy for one reason or another. I mean, all of us came here to find him. Um, Ragnvalder wants to kill him for killing his family. Anki just uh, doesn't like him because it, he's, like, prophesied to do something great. Dars is in love with him, and I was just, like, hired to find him. My Well, my main character, the mercenary. Uh, to live is the same as to suffer. To survive, we need to find some meaning from all the suffering. So the point of this video is to kind of show, because Norm, you can't, you don't always end up with all four characters at the end of the game. In this game, death is permanent, so it's possible for all of the other main characters, except your main character, to die. So it's actually kind of rare that all four main characters are here fighting him. And you know, since I figured. Since all of them have something against him, he it, it's fitting all four of them will get to fight and defeat him. The truth behind it all is the contrast. Without suffering, there would be no bliss or paradise. It is my duty to craft the paradise out of the miserable existence of human life. Only I can do it. I mean no harm to you. I am your god, god after all. To show how much I love you, I will release you from this darkness one way or another. 
If you kneel to me, I will let you out. Now, if I knelt to him, I would get a different ending, an ending where he sends us out, back out of the dungeon of fear and hunger. Um, and it's kind of a good ending because we all live, but I'm going to say you are not my god and we're going to fight him. I love you regardless. It is unconditional. the many final battles of Fear and Hunger. The really cool thing about Fear and Hunger is many possible paths you can take, many different final battles, but this is one of the final battles. Um, the very important thing about Fear and Hunger also is every enemy has different body parts to attack. We're going to attack the snake first. I think the snake heals him if we don't kill it. Darce, Darce is going to use fast attack. <laughs> Ooh, black. Oh gosh. That, no. That's the snake healing him. Uh, Dark Orb is the worst. Uh, uh, we'll have Anki do the, uh, he has the weakest attack. We'll use his damage spells later. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the extra turn. So, uh, have him use a blue vial, and Darce will attack. I'm gonna get that snake killed so it stops healing. special secret to fighting him. him. Yay. Ah, oh, dang it. I hate that Enki died, but it doesn't really change the ending sequence, I don't think. Unless we all say something at the end. So, Lagarde's dead. That is the end. Wow, we, we all escaped. I forgot that we escaped in the ending if you kill him. Ah, oh, darn. I hate that Enki died. Um, you defeated Lagarde. The prophet prof <laughs> there's some misspellings in this game it, it was created by a finnish um developer you defeated Le you defeated lagarde the prophesied one with delusions of creating a new era with his godhood after his defeat you wake up outside the vile fortress that trapped you before it all seems so hazy did all those events really happen you can still smell all the blood and the gore that seeps through the seams of the ancient stone walls of the dungeon you can still feel the gaze of the hundreds of past warriors sacrificed in the pools of blood now left to rot. You can still feel the pressure of the never-ending darkness that the underground caverns offered. Scarred for life, you run away from the dungeon. Hounds howl on your tracks, but you are way past fearing such small dangers that dwell under the sun. Horrors of the past never leave you alone though every night you wake up from the restless dreams where you are forever trapped in the bloody quarters corridors of the dungeon 
The dreams become more and more lifelike as time goes on until you cannot tell the difference between a lucid dream and the real world. In the end, your fate was to dwell to dwell on these dungeons forever. That is Ending C, the Yellow King. We defeated the Yellow King, which of course is a reference to the King in Yellow, which is a Lovecraftian story. All right, uh, stop sharing. So that was Ending C1 of Fear and Hunger. Um, if we had knelt before him, we would have gotten C2, which is where he sets us free, and then it says something about um, like he becomes a king in the world and you you see him later in your life and he's like evil and his skin is green and stuff and yeah so yeah anyway that was one of the many endings of fear and hunger I thought I would share that because I did a lot of work to get to the point where I had all um all four main characters to fight Lagarde. I hate that Anki died, but it doesn't change how the ending works. But anyway, that does it for that. I've been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay. <laughs>